Hello guys, how are you doing? So, welcome back to my reaction to Sword Art Online Alicization. So, I'll be watching episode 20 now. Uh, so, last episode ended in a really uh, like uh, interesting way. So, Eugio finally managed to reach the top of the of that tower, and he found Quinella like laying and sleeping in that bed. But yeah, when he tried to like. Um, when he was about to stab her, or when he was like deciding if he should do it or not, um, she just woke up at that moment, and she instantly started to like manipulate him and making him believe that like no one in that world loves him, and like basically making him wonder if like about uh, everything that happened, like about Alice and Tiz. So that was really like hard to watch and. Is basically like trying to, to look for love, and he now like sees on Quinella a chance to get that that type of thing. But yeah, we we all know that it's totally wrong. Even if it must like feel really nice to him, I mean, I'm not gonna deny it. I mean, Quinella looks just fine. But yeah, we all know that's a really hard situation, and it's probably going to. To make him like change and probably like make him going to fight uh, Kirito and Alice. So I'm not entirely sure if that's going to happen. It just really looked like it since she's trying to access uh, like his core, um, probably to make him like a, an integrity knight. So I wonder how how that's going to go. It's it's going to be really troublesome if that happens because we know Ilju is really strong. And he's probably, like, maybe not at the same level as Kirito, but probably really close. They're, like, both really skilled. Uh, but then there's also Alice, but I still wonder if something will happen to her since she's, like, she has that thing from Quinella inside of her head, so she might do something tricky to Alice. So I'm really curious to see what's going to happen in this episode, and we are basically reaching the end of this season so I'm really curious to see how they're going to do it and like how all of these things go from now on uh, so yeah I hope you guys are ready and let's start the episode yeah there are like five floors below they're, they're not far oh he placed that thing around her eye Damn, he did that. Going to heal him. Oh, that's all she cares about. Poor Kirito the, has all of that trouble to save her, and then she complains about the sweat. It's fun though, it's fun to see them interacting like this. But yeah, I'm expecting Yuju to, to be facing them now. It's probably going to be really painful for them. I honestly have like no idea how they can defeat Quinella. She seems like way too strong. It's probably mostly because of her manipulation skills, but I mean she has access to all the commands in the game or in that world. So yeah, that's already pretty scary. Oh, he, she actually hurt him a bit.
Yeah. Right on top of you. Um, all right. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Below. So he didn't have the sword at that point. Hmm. Hmm. He doesn't have the sword, or... I don't remember if he had the sword at the top floor or not, but I, I don't think he had. So the, the sword m might have stayed there. Damn. Oh, he should be... Is he still there, like, frozen? Yeah, he is. Yep. Oh, to stone. Not frozen. I saw that deep freeze, so I had the idea it was with ice. Hmm. It's cracking. Oh. Right. Is he going to die here?
Yep. The labyrinth of his memories. Yeah. It's already done. Oh, that's a sword. Oh, shit. Yeah. Yeah, I wonder why. It looks exactly like the ones from Minecraft. Yep. Hmm. Really good that they he managed to bring Ali suicide. Um oh well, they need to do the first option then. Wait, or slay him. She meant the senator, probably, so either way works. <laughs> so they still need to go through them. So they're the ones who show up when something happens. Hmm. Yeah, they're the ones pulling the strings. They're under their control, their control, like, probably. Hmm. I still hope I can secure it to using both swords. That would be insane. What's happening? Those things. Damn, they're like caged inside of that. Yep, exactly those. And the other, one, the other one appeared when she was in that cave. It attacked them. Um. Okay. Right. What's this?
Holy shit. So they didn't detect them. It was just like a, a call to get food. Holy shit. Yeah, that's really questionable. Probably the senator. Yeah. So he's the only one who's like free inside of there. That room though. Can't say I'm surprised considering his figure. <laughs> oh shit. Damn. Nice. Yeah, sure. Yeah, for a good reason. Yeah, this guy needs to go. I wonder if their memories are around there. This guy really needs to go. Yeah, just trigger her. That's going to. I hope you enjoy what she's about to do to you. This guy. Yeah. Oh, the um, remove core, like. To remove the protection of the core. Man, this guy needs to be killed like fast. Probably true. Nice. That was really nice. Wonder if he'll die because of that though. Of course. What the hell? I feel like this guy is going to be so annoying. It's probably really pissed at him. Hmm. 
It's Elgio, right? It's Elgio. Oh no. I'm pretty sure it's Elgio. Holy shit. That actually happened. Yeah. It, it it's probably because he was in direct contact with Quinella. Yep. It doesn't have his sword though. Or is Yeah. Yeah, that's or it's gonna pull it. Just like that. I was wondering like which word he was going to use. So he can just do that. It's different. Holy shit! I'll defeat both of you. Love. He's like blind, I mean, his memories are all messed up. It's probably going to be a really cool fight, but hard one to watch. Yeah. He probably has some crazy skills though because of Queen Ella. That image. That's awesome. Man, this image is at the end. Makes such great thumbnails. So, what I said before is actually happening. They're they're basically going to fight each other. And I mean, it probably became like this so fast because he was in direct contact with with Quinella. So that probably sped up the the process. I really wonder how they're going to bring Elgio back though. It's probably going to be harder than it was with Elise.
But we know that he has that eye as well. And I still wonder why he has it. Because it, it seems like it was something that was only in the, these Integrity Knights. I don't know. It's like a seal. So why did Eugio have a seal to start with? That's, that's kind of my biggest question right now. Maybe if he fights Alice, he will re remember more. Yeah, that's basically Ojo. So yeah, that basically happened. Also, that senator is still alive, which is not good. Um, but yeah, that was quite something, and it's going to be interesting to see how they're going to like bring him back. But it's also going to be really cool to see all, all of this fight, I mean, two of the best swordsmen in that world are just about to clash. And I don't know what's going to be Alice's position in this fight, um, but yeah, like, I have no idea. Like, Pinella is probably right on top of them. So I wonder if she will eventually appear in, like in that fight. Uh, but yeah, I have like no way to know that. Anyway, it was a, a great episode, and we learned a bit more about what Alice actually did in that place before she became an Integrity Knight. It's it's kind of painful to know that she, she even spent two more years there, like, practicing and developing her skills, like, uh, believing that she could go home after that, when it was just like, a, just like part of the process of making her an Integrity Knight. So yeah, like, I... I really hated when this, this senator uh, started like saying all of these things about Alice and like enjoying himself about all of the bad things he did. That was really painful to watch and I, I, I really hope they managed to defeat this guy somehow. Uh, but yeah, I just hope he... I don't know if he's going to mess up with this fight or not. Uh, we know he's probably around, but I'm not sure what he's going to do. Anyway, I can't wait for the next episodes to watch this fight and how they're going to close this uh, first season. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction to this episode. And if you did, please like and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next one. So, see ya!